are you putting uh, more than one project in a fund or are you doing a fund per project? So our fund, um, you know, there's obviously two types of deals out there on the capital raising side. There's single asset syndication, which is one deal, one LLC. And there's funds, which are identical to a syndication, but a fund is generally a collection of assets. And the reason we like the fund strategy a little bit more is the geographic and cash flow diversification that a uh, multi-property portfolio offers versus one deal. So inevitably in a 10 property portfolio, two deals might be behind forecast, six are on forecast and two are ahead. And they all kind of balance each other out. So our fund is a multi-property strategy. Um, so far this year, we've acquired nine self-storage facilities, which represent about around $45 million in gross capitalization. We've got $30 million in acquisitions on deck for September. And then we've got a few, uh, few deals that we're chasing for Q4. Uh, so by the time the fund closes, we'll have between 13 to 15 properties. Wow. Nice. Well, I mean, that that's mm -hmm. always the best strategy is to be diversified as possible. You're, yep. you're diversified geographically, and then you're diversified because you have, you know, obviously more than one property that's involved. It, it's no different than having somebody that has one rental property or five rental properties. Uh, if you're doing single family homes or if you're making loans on one property versus 25 properties, uh, you know, inside of a fund structure. Yep. It's always the best way to go if, if you can have multiple assets. Absolutely. Um, Great deep dive into yeah, a fund. That, that, yeah, that, you know, people don't awesome. get to hear this. You, you still have, uh, are you still raising capital on your, your second fund? We are. We're, we're getting fairly full for our September allocation, but we've got room in uh, Q4. So we're, we're probably close the fund out around $35 million dollars. And uh, end of September, we will have deployed about 28 million, 29. So another, another five, six or so to go um, for Q4. So we've got some bandwidth still. Um, and it just kind of depends on uh, capital raising and deal flow, both of which are never, as you know, perfectly in balance. <laughs> we the feel your pain. The pendulum we know, yeah. we know too well. Yeah. yeah, it's always uh, too much money, not enough deals. And then the next day it's too many deals and not enough money. I, uh, I remember I, it. <laughs> I was, I was telling, uh, I was telling uh, our loan department before I went on vacation, um, you know, we were in the, in the same thing. We we're like, all right, if you have to fund just one deal, this is the one you fund. And then when I got back, it was like, we need to fund 20 deals. Where, where are we at? Like, hey. <laughs> like it, it just, it swings that fast. Doesn't take long. Yeah. Yep. Couldn't agree more. That's it. That's, that's been this business ever since I've been in it and it's nothing new. It's, it's funny. Um, it always works out it does. No, no matter what, it, it does. always, it always works out. So, it does. you know, capital is typically, I mean, people who first get in this, they think that is the, the hardest part. Capital is the easiest part. Money's everywhere. I mean, it is mindset and opportunities. So those are the things that you have to, you know, take hold of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Capital's always there.